what's good everyone today we have the long-awaited room tour so i've been in this spot but like what two two years max two years yes so two years been in this environment lots of good videos have come out of this room so far i think it's very versatile especially for what i do on youtube and other things of that nature so the first thing we're gonna get into is over here this beautiful light by gantry beautiful beautiful snow geo floor lamp that's exactly what it's called um made in california i think they start at about like 98 dollars. super affordable uh, made out of the same thing that like compostable coffee cups are made out of which is really great very good for the environment sustainable i think it suits the vibe of the room very like well like retro futuristic i'm not even deep into that i like more like contemporary furniture i guess or like uh mid-century mid-century modern, mid modern. blanking on the name but yes it suits that whole vibe but it's also just like ready to go you can buy it straight off their website gantry.com i believe my discount code is still applicable so it's kyron 20 get 20 dollars off your order all the links will be in the description box below yeah so they have like quick ship options gets to your door really quickly sometimes when i'm watching videos or anything on the tv over there with megs sometimes overhead light kind of kills the vibe so you want to have like little lamps like this ambient lighting that other lamp over there is by gantry as well you could zoom in on that Okay. Ooh, yo, cameraman going crazy. If you guys want to check it out, links will be in the description box below. And that is that. This is where I do like the try on portions of most of the videos. This was a door, funny enough, from house way back. Like kind of like when I first started YouTube. The plan eventually is like when I feel like it's done, I'm going to cut it into two to three parts. It depends on how even I could get it. And then um, pour like a laminate coat over it and then like turn it into like an art piece type of thing. Um, only when I feel like it's done. I don't think it's done yet. Uh, the bottom has lots to go. Other things in that nature. It's just like very like, you know, holds a special place in my heart, but I feel like it's cool. But anyway, over here. So this corner is kind of just like my nightstand area. Uh, we just talked about this lamp, but some of the things on the nightstand always got a little candle going. This one's this like mock Santal joint. It's supposed to be by Diptych, but this one's just like from Winners or anything like that. It's like really affordable. It smells pretty identical, a bit sweeter than the original Santal. Some Julio, you know what I mean? We don't have this in Canada. So whenever I find one, I try to pick it up. Got this one from Miami, from my homie. This, Dutty Dario, beautiful artist out of Montreal. This is like inspired by Foster Home of Imaginary friends if you guys ever watched that when you were a kid he does like a lot of spins off of like uh like pop culture and other things of that nature he did like a installation of pokemon i believe recently and i think his next gallery is going to be really interesting so i'm interested to check that out this i just got framed recently i'm into framing now i'm turning into an old man and this is like a two dollar bill that uh my dad gave me a while back and there's not too many in circulation i just thought it looked like pretty interesting to get it like that especially like a floating frame so like you can see all the way through it it's like a chestnut i believe look at me talking about the different types of situations going on over there some books i haven't got around to reading yet unfortunately this is a saint wood's tray i just keep all my little trinkets in there chrome shades oh this is by, by uh maybach la great coasters love her stuff um she also did this tray over here that we can get into meg's got this for my birthday this whole set really beautiful got this going on don't have anything in here yet and then this is like for my jewelry just like my grab and go type of situation but like if i'm storing it it's like this is grab and go this is like sometimes and then all my like styling jewelry goes in my drawers but yeah this is kind of the stuff i go to for a day to day but thank you so much, Max. I love this. This set is really beautiful. I think I'm gonna have that like the rest of my life. Hopefully it doesn't break because concrete's kind of like, but I think she mixes it with other things. So we'll be okay. So this kind of like the chaotic section, I just keep like a bunch of weird finite stuff in here. Um, also a board that Megs made me for when we're going to Paris. Beautiful gift, by the way. Um, this I made back in wood shop. I want to get back into furniture making, but like, I really love this. I want to make like a, another, like more refined version of this. Just a shelf, keep CDs and like whatever other stuff in there. Got a deck in case like go to parties, mix, whatever. So, and then a uh, nine part hat, very Montreal, you know? And my, look at my little baby foot. So cute. This was mine, by the way. I know it's a team Jordan, but it's a jump man, but. I was still flexing nonetheless when I was a little kid. So. <laughs> Here, weights trying to get swole, you know what I mean? 
You see the chancletas? Don't mind those. Uh, canvas. Megs and I like to paint in their pastime. I think it's great. It's a great little relaxing exercise to do. This plant is fake. I had a real one. I still have a real one, Girthy. That's his name. But this is Girthy's cousin. And uh, just, it, it works better in my room because my room doesn't get too much light. And my favorite thing about it is this concrete base that I got. I forget the name of where it's from, but it was pretty pricey. I didn't know bases for plant, like plant holders, expensive, but it's worth it. Um, set up, I think. Just wanted to jump in here and talk about these shelves. These are Ikea shelves. I forget the name for them, but they'll be linked in the description box below. Sorry for the audio technical difficulties. I have no idea what happened with my mic, but I'm getting that assessed real soon and it'll be settled for the next time I film some run and gun videos. Also floating shelves over any type of shelf any day. It's so much cleaner. Or Home Depot, if you guys are not from Canada. Yeah, just a bunch of books, whatever. Top. Uh, this I believe is from Ikea or Structube. Very simple. I don't know the name of it. A uh, whole bunch of books again. Water bottle. Uh, strawberry jams. And what else is there? This is like the apothecary section. Just like everything that smells good. It's like a candle always burning. Room spray. This is my favorite fragrance brand, I guess. Like for room. Rita. It's a water backwards. I think this is by started fragment um it smells really great honestly they have this at haven all the time um i have the diffuser but i haven't opened it up yet because i'm already using another one megs and i are big fans of palo santo this is like a great brand from montreal that does it so if you guys want to check that out definitely do just the bags chaotic once again bag section and then we get into all the clothes but you guys want that you guys messed up the last time we didn't hit the 2k Okay. If you guys get the 2K again, which is hard to do, but cheat code, I'll put the link to the last video in the description. If you guys still get it to 2K, then I'll do the closet tour. Because before I get out of here, that has to get done because we're clearly outgrowing the space. There's a lot of things going on here that I would love to get into. Did I just unplug the light? <laughs> <laughs> unplug the light. But um, yeah, I'm excited to get into this. There's a lot of heavy hitters in here all the well, majority of the cool shoes up there but yeah oh yeah i guess we could get into as the last little bit meg's got me this beautiful marikami pillow and uh i got that babe one from la st woods hermes inspired pillow and then the other one's just from ikea um i think that's about it another lamp in the corner little magazines aesop cream i think that's from Vin vincent that started dime he has like a little print over there it's pretty nice Like I'm there. Some other little hints that I'd like to touch on. This rug, I thought it was a little bit too colorful for my space, but I'm I'm a really big yellow guy, and I think it was a good like balance between vibrant but also kind of like dark and mysterious because it has like the navy hints, and it kind of looks like a distressed Persian rug. Persian rug, exactly. It's from Wayfair. Yeah. Yeah. So I find it very like masculine. Yeah. And I find it, it really ties nice. the colors in your room mm -hmm. together really well. Yeah, perfectly. Because like I have little hints of pop, especially because I have my clothing exposed. Um, there's always like a little bit of yellow in there and like other little pop colors. The Marikami has colors in it as well. There's the dime hard hat. There's a whole bunch of different, like even like this too. I try to steer away from colors if I can with like having bases like this with like the dark chocolates, like it seems like black, but everything's dark chocolate, but it kind of ties everything in very nicely. But at heart, I like some vibrance sometimes, I guess. But yeah, the goal eventually is to have this and then layer with another like Persian rug, but like they're so expensive. They're like two grand, three grand, which is crazy. But yeah, I guess here in the meantime, I don't have like a bar cart, so I just keep everything here. But this is like one of Meg's and I's favorite natural wine. I've been like grooming myself into a crazy natural wine snob, uh, thanks to Max. One of our main homies, he like introduced it to me. And then uh, this is one of our favorite ones. It's not too hard to find. It's just a little pricey. Like this bottle is like- Like specifically this? Yeah. Cause like Mang Klang, okay. yeah, Mang Klang has like a traditional one that's all orange see-through and it has like a, like a bottle cap top, but this one's waxed on the top and it's green and it's 
like you can't see through it. This specific one, if you find it, definitely try it. It's expensive, but it's worth the price. Probably the best natural wine I've ever had, besides the ones we've had at the restaurant and other things of that nature, because like they're more boutique style and you can't find them all the time. This you could find at least twice to three times in a year sometimes, so, because they produce it a bit more in bulk, so. But yeah, oh yeah, and these are, Casamigos, come on, man. You know, we get into that. But they don't have it too often in Montreal. Like, they had 20 at a store, gone in a day. So there's like a crazy tequila shortage. I'm like a big tequila guy recently. I think it's my drink of choice if I were to get into that. It's either wine or tequila. So I think that's about it. So the last thing that uh, I just wanted to talk about is these racks. I get a lot of questions about these racks. I got mine from like a retail store provider let's just say so i wouldn't recommend you guys to go to mine specifically because like they just ship to within montreal and within canada so the best thing i would recommend to you guys is like go on wayfair or like etsy and other things like that and just look at like pipe clothing racks or anything like that i'll list a couple ones that i like in the description below but they're basically just like industrial grade clothing racks um i think these are 50 inches 50 inch ones it really depends on your space it's one of my favorite ways of like organizing clothes building outfits displaying clothes very like visual person i don't like folding my clothing or anything like that so i think this is a really good option for you guys if you're into that as well some people consider it messy i don't know sometimes it is like it could get overwhelming but then it allows me to know when to trip down trim down my closet so uh yeah i think it's a good little strategy and i'll link a couple of different options in the description for you guys so yeah Overall, I think that's about it. Depending on how long this is, I'm gonna do a little sign off right here. Thank you guys for watching, I really appreciate it. As always, make sure to go check out Gantry again. This is the Geo floor lamp in snow. Beautiful little accessory to a room. Adds plenty of vibrance. That's about it. Make sure to like this video if you haven't already. Subscribe if you're new. Follow the bar on Instagram, G-O-T-S-W-I-G-E. Of course, I will see you guys on the next one. And. If we're still continuing this, then I'm gonna show you guys. Megs and I just doing some like try on stuff at the boy Jacob's house. Megs is looking at a little Rick jacket, so she's gonna try it out on, et cetera. We'll go to that. But then this is the new your bedroom. Okay, so you're putting it where? In the bathroom. Well, where's your, this should be your, your closet. It's a very nice one. This is too small for it to leave, no? They all are small. This is smaller than the one I have. Yeah, well, that, yeah, that's why I tried to get the, the five for anything in Capital Operators most of the time. Um, Except so for, like, would, the fleeces. you would only wear this over a shirt, not a sweater? I would wear it, like, open, honestly. I, haven't yet I wear worn. mine open all the time. I think the sizing is exactly like your other one, just without the mass of the, of the fleece, mm. right? What do you think? No, I don't have to see it in here. You want to see how it looks on this? Do a little spin. You paid eight fifty, but it's worth three thousand. No, like retail's three grand. But I bought it when Marine wasn't popping. Okay. So it went on sale crazy. Yeah. And it how does it action. look? That looks nice. I think as the best two would be cool. I don't. I would never wear jackets though, and I just sleep for too long. Like when it looks like too oversized. When it's a fitted jacket, I like when the sleeves. It like honestly that. looks good on me, but like I just like the shoulders to me like are a bit too aggressive. Okay, yeah, that's kind of how it looks even without putting it on. This is the one I'm more than like. I think it's a cool color too, because I, like, I always go like black or like some wacky color. Yeah, no, that could. Also, work. like not to sound fucking. Yeah, like, no, it's true. Especially for the price you're getting. That's like my favorite color. Too. Yeah. Yeah. A stone gray. It's kind of like iridescent too in some way, for like how shiny it is. It's cool. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. I mean, you could do like both of the capitals, and I think that'll be all. Like in everything else that I, I picked. Plus the other puddles. Be Gucci. What do you mean, like Montclair? What have made that into a great? Uh, order materials. So. Wow.
Yeah. It fits you well. Yeah. Here's like the mirror. I think it looks good. And that's even with a hoodie. Yeah. But that looks good. Like, I see what you mean. It it's looks just more too, cropped on you. It looks really though. good on a girl. Yeah. Mm -hmm. On a guy. But like... it looks like the right amount of cropped that I know. I like mean. it. But on you, it doesn't look bad at that length as well. You know what I'm saying? Okay, let me see this one. Wider and more like light. Like... The weight is so different. Yeah, that's what I was literally telling you guys heavier. before. Yeah. This is like a jack. This is one so much heavier. Oh, that's yeah. like that feels like you're wearing a North Face. In a different North way, face. though. Yeah, in a different way. Like that feels like my North Face. This feels like a little. It's a little daintier. Okay, they're the same. Seven. You know what? It looks great. Okay, so, so give the rundown. So Batat got this Chrome Hearts cigarette holder, but we're gonna call it a mini. A mini bag. Yeah, a little mini bag. Hold on, let's see if we can get the exposure a bit better. Yeah, so it kind of like works for a mini bag. So he didn't get this from Chrome Hearts, but... No. But it's like technically a wallet on chain. Yeah. That's what we could yeah. consider it. So people were kind of doubting this purchase, but yeah. in reality of things, it's like... And it fits perfectly a on a belt yeah. or a strap of a bag, Yeah. which has multi-use. And also I like almost never see that camo unless like it was on the belt. You and, said, like, and the, has three, the, belt, right? the three hardware. Yeah, that's true. Three pieces of hardware. Yeah, all on leather. such a small item. It's true. So so it's kind of worth it. A lot of bang for the buck, but some yeah. people would be like, I mean, for just cigarettes, it's it's over. It's, it's a lot, yeah. <laughs> but for a bag. It makes yeah, we're sense. turning it into a bag <laughs> <laughs> on a budget. What's up you guys? So I just figured I'd end up end off the vlog right here um sorry for it being a little bit random and without context but i was just like i didn't want it to be so like formal uh and like purposeful i was even planning on like filming a vlog that day i just uh i knew i was gonna go and try on some clothes at my friend jacob's house and megs was gonna come along with me just because he has some items that he's willing to let go right now and um, he always has like very fair prices and he's like a really great friend of ours so we just wanted to like go try on some clothes chit chat have a beer um and i was able to document a little bit of it so i figured why not chuck it into the vlog right here also he's going to be having a couple of items for sale and i'm going to be having them on the screen right now as i'm talking kind of so you guys can kind of get a feel for what he has to offer uh and what he's willing to sell at the moment a lot of them are for fair prices so if you guys see it on my instagram story which will more than likely be up today the day that i'm posting this video if all goes as planned if not then you guys will see all the items that are listed in the description box below i'll let you know if they are sold or not sold uh, and also the prices uh, but really great items nonetheless and they're also priced in canadian dollars so all you guys in the united states definitely take advantage um yeah i'm probably gonna yeah i just want to capture more moments like this get more comfortable vlogging as i've been saying um and just bringing my actual camera with camera with me out when i'm out and about instead of just doing it off the phone i want to get like more like serious with capturing the content that i actually want to capture so this is me holding myself accountable and i hope you guys enjoyed all of this video i'm out peace can't promise nothing other than that i'll tell you when, when, when. Mm -hmm.